Alright guys, today I have a video here. This is going to be on the LG G-Pad 8.3 inch and we're going to show you guys how to install custom recovery on your device. Specifically, Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. That's what we're going to be doing and uh, I'll go through everything for you. It should be very simple. Just follow along and you should have no problem getting recovery on your device. Uh, prerequisite for putting recovery on your device is you're going to have to have root access. Right there I have it with Super Sue. Um, you can have a super sue, or that's super user, I'm sorry. You can have a super sue, super user, it doesn't matter. Make sure you have root access, um, and I have a video on that if you don't know how to do it. This is just going to show you guys that I can verify that, verify that I have root access right here. Congratulations, this device has root access. This is called a root checker. I would download it just to prove that you have root access before you start this process. Now, normally if you have a recovery you want to install, normally you got to have an unlocked bootloader. So, this recovery is a little different um, as it doesn't need an unlocked bootloader um, it uses a hack called Loki hack and I will explain it to you as best I can when we get to that point first thing we're gonna do is go into settings and you need to turn on developer options so if you don't have developer options turned on I'll show you how to do it you go to about tablet you go to software and then you click on your build number about seven times and it'll turn on developer options once they're on you check them right here and then you check on USB debugging and make sure everything is checked okay so once you've got that done um, we will move to the next step which is going to actually be on my computer so let's go over to my computer so here we are on the computer guys you can see the device over here we've got our USB uh, debugging turned on developer options all that kind of good stuff next thing you're going to want to do before you plug in your device to your computer is you're going to want to run this right here this is the uh, LG United Mobile Drivers and you just click on it and you click run. It runs it, installs the drivers, and you're done. Very, very simple. So I'm not going to do it. I've already got them installed. Um, but uh, that's all you got to do. So make sure you have that file downloaded, obviously. Links will be in the video description. From there, just go ahead and plug in your device. I love that little animation at the bottom. It's really cool. And then you want to put it in this uh, MediaSync MTP. That's the mode you want to be in. And what will happen is your drivers will install. Normally they install over here. There will be something over here popping up saying drivers are installing. Once the drivers have installed, the other thing I want to point out is right here. You should see this. USB debugging is connected. That's very important you see that. Um, and the drivers are installed. Once you've got that going, uh, we can run into the tool. So the tool is right here. It's called uh, Recovery Twerp the number zip. And you just download it and then you extract it. And when it extracts, I, I named the folder I put them in, but basically when it extracts, you have these two, two uh, files. So one is uh, the utility that runs, and the other one is all the files. So right here is the re actual recovery Im image, and then these are like patches to, to um, apply Loki to the recovery so you can bypass the, un the not locked bootloader, or the locked bootloader, I should say. It's, since it's not unlocked, it's locked. Loki bypasses that and allows you to run custom recovery even though you have a locked bootloader. Um, and then here's some other files in here as well. All right, so I think we understand what's going on here. Basically, all you got to do is double tap the recovery.bat, which is the batch file, and it'll run and install recovery for you. Probably be some options, and we'll go through it. So here we go. All right, first thing it says is turn on USB debugging and connect your device, which we've already done. So press any key to continue. And I just hit spacebar on my keyboard and installing recovery. Blank, 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 blank. Doing a couple things. Applying the Loki stuff. Reboot into recovery now. So I'm going to type in yes. And then hit enter. And the device should reboot into recovery. All right, so you can see it. It does say right here, secure boot error, um, booting, and then, it, and then it went into recovery. I'm not sure what that meant, but anyway, we got into recovery. So now that we're in recovery, we have recovery installed. At this point, you can close out the tool right here, press any key, and uh, let's go walk through this recovery. All right, so we're in the recovery. Let's go ahead and unplug our cable. There we go. And this is our recovery. Pretty cool. 
Um, first thing you want to do when you get into recovery, absolute, absolute first thing you want to do is go to backups, select everything, everything should be selected, um, select storage location. I like to store on my micro SD. I just think it's a better place to store backups, so you select that. And I'm going to leave autogen, well, I'm going to actually, I'm going to, I'm going to put, also put stock in here. So space, st stock, autogen just gives you like the date in your build, but um, I like to put stock in there too, just to make sure, hit go, and then swipe across, and this is going to create your very first Nandroid backup on this device. Now, the importantness of the Nandroid backup and what it does for you is if you ever mess your device up from this point on, you can always boot back into recovery, and I have a video on how to get into recovery on this device, along with root, obviously, if you want to do that, because you got to do that before this. Um, you can boot into recovery, and it'll boot up Team One Recovery Project, and then you can restore your Android. So if something messes up, you're good to go. You can always fix it. If you flash a custom ROM after this, which I will be showing you guys in following videos, then you can always restore back to stock system with root access and everything files everything set up exactly how you had it when you made this Android backup this is a basically a complete backup of the entire tablet right now in, in at this exact time so absolutely super important that you run the backup um, it's just it's your safety net uh, saves you from lots of headaches this thing does have a uh, screen saver so the screen does go off if you let it sit for too long just hit your power button once and it'll come back up, have an unlock screen, and slide across and it and unlocks the device and you can keep watching your backup. I'm going to let this backup run. When it finishes, we'll wrap this up. Alright, there we go guys. Uh, backup is completed. Backup took about, I don't know, 4 or 5 minutes to run. Wasn't really that long. Well, here actually it tells you right there. 345 seconds total run time for backup right on the screen. So you can actually hit reboot here. Um, we're going to show you uh, some more in recovery. So basically this is your recovery, pretty simple. Um, if you want to restore your backup that you just made, you just click on restore, select it, boom. You can restore the backup. Um, obviously you have some settings here. You can adjust, actually screen, screen timeout, so how long it takes to timeout. Um, you know how you saw the screen go off while I was talking earlier. You can adjust those things, some different other various things you guys can, can play with. Um, advanced, you can do fixed permissions, file manager, terminal commands, a whole bunch of side ADB side load. And obviously if you're doing um, ROM installs, you would go to installs or wipes to wipe wipe uh, your device out. Um, different different things in here. So we're just going to go ahead and do reboot system. I can get it. There we go. And we're rebooting. So pretty much it, guys. That's going to be it. That's how you... Uh, Install Torp Recovery, custom recovery on your device. That's how you make your first Android backup. Again, like I said, can't stress enough that it's super, super important to do. And uh, we're going to reboot here. I would recommend to go ahead and do two things from here. Find some kind of reboot app. Like you can find, I think it's called Reboot Recovery. And it's really nice. It just allows you to reboot into recovery really simply. Um, the other thing I would recommend doing is watching my How to uh, Factory Reset Your Device because it shows you the button combination on how to get into recovery from a powered off state or if you're in some kind of boot loop something like that um, it's going to help you out quite a bit and last little note I wanted to tell you guys is that this right here is on I'll show you this probably should have said this earlier but I'm going to say it now um, this device is on software version right here Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean so if you will try to apply this to a new update, an OTA update, if, they, if LG pushes out a new OTA update, the Loki hack that it allows recovery to work with, an, with a locked bootloader may not function on a new OTA update. So be aware of that um, if you're not running this system version. You can try it, but it may not work. Um, so it's just kind of my fair warning on it. Just, just be aware that that's, that's a possibility. So, at this point, this is perfectly fine, works great, absolutely love it, but if you get a new version, just uh, check out your uh, build or Android version to make sure that matches up with mine, and you should be good to go. Uh, pretty much it, guys, that's it. Recovery on the LG G-Pad 8.3, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. 
All right, why not? I'll just show you guys how to get into recovery from a powered off state. So here you go. Device is off. Extra footage here. This is good stuff. Device is off, and we're going to boot into recovery from a powered off state. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your volume down button and your power button. So it's going to be a little tricky here. And keep holding volume down, and when you see this logo, let go of power, hold volume up and power again. Just keep holding them now. All right. So you can see right here, it says factory reset, blankety blank blank, warning, it's going to erase your data. Well, if you have Torp Recovery installed, just go ahead and hit power. Again, it's going to ask to confirm it again. Again, hit power. And, yep, there's your little warning. But that means that you're going to boot into Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. There you go. Shabam. That's how to get into it from a powered off state or if you're in some kind of brick, boot loop, bad ROM flash, whatever it is. This will get you back in there. You can then go back in here, hit restore, boom, you'll get your whole device running again. And you'll be booting up and you have a functioning device. No worries. Bad ROM installs happen. People brick their devices by messing with things with root access. It just happens. Everybody. But that's how you're going to be able to get in there and get it fixed. So I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of information as well. Catch you guys next time.